Hey everybody, it's Keith with Mean Boys Podcast. Before we get into this week's episode, just a couple things. Uh, number one, all of our sketches and which of the following games are now available on YouTube. Uh, so if you like a piece, you want to send it to a friend, uh, you don't have to make them wait through the whole fucking show anymore. Just send them the piece. It's all on the uh, Mean Boys Podcast YouTube channel. Also, uh, we are selling our first t-shirt. There is a uh, Carnock Dawson 16 campaign t-shirt available for sale. Uh, all the proceeds from that go to keeping this show afloat. Please check it out. We have a link in the show notes. It's also on our our Twitter. Uh, other than that, feel free to drop us a line as always, uh, or follow us on Twitter, uh, and tell a friend. Review the show on iTunes. Fuck you. Eat a dick. Goodbye. Here's the thing. Things of me. 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 Hey everyone, agony is the only thing that can purge the sins off your soul. My name is Joe Dosh. I'm Connor McSpadden. And I'm a flesh dollop. <laughs> dollop sounds like the noise that I would make when I walk. You're the cool whip of Hell's Picnic. <laughs> <laughs> just festering. Like, just like people just spreading you on rocks because <laughs> they break their teeth. <laughs> the devil takes us like two scoops of raisin spoon out of the abyss. <laughs> and just to, Carry, with this dolloping you will do my bidding. Whoa. <laughs> my form is constantly shifting to a worse uh, one. I was bad in a previous life. <laughs> Little, Neither liquid nor solid. What fresh hell is this? Yes, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Some disgusting fifth state of matter beyond <laughs> gas or plasma. Oh. I have it filled, is scary. I have filled beyond the bounds of physics. It's like you would go into the podiatrist and be like, Carrie, you've been dolloping around when you lock. Your arches are destroyed. We're going to need to get... <laughs> we learned that the Adams and Keith Carey expand to fit the shape of their superhero t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's plasma, you see. Uh, A little insight into Joe's psyche. He texted me this about uh, eight hours after the last time we recorded. Yeah. <laughs> he, he just couldn't Wait, he was all excited, and I'm being all coy about it today. Like, oh well, I guess I got an opening slam. <laughs> the guys. funny thing is, I can look back and see you posted some dumb status about a dollop. Yep. And I'm like, oh, that was the seed yeah. of all this. <laughs> well, Joe just gets he just he, he just gets like obsessed with certain words or phrases, and he they just rattle around his evil skull until he polishes them like a fucking uh, river into a lot of room in exactly. there. So. Yeah. Just got to make hay while the sun is shining, and then use it to burn down the barn. <laughs> Speaking of which, the Mexican joke off. So topical. I can take it away. Oh, okay. All right, everybody. ISIS booby trapped a Syrian home with over 100 landmines, hiding them, there in, hiding them in the refrigerator, beds, and under the teapots. The U.S. coalition is on the lookout for Abu Kevin Al McAllister. <laughs> 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 oh, very good. Uh, scientists have discovered a 145-year-old Indonesian man. Locating the man was simple as they merely hacked into Joe Dosh's grinder matches. <laughs> <laughs> An earthquake in Italy has claimed 291 lives. State hospitals are offering free counseling to anybody impacted by the trauma <laughs> 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 the, 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 the foolproof Mexi uh, Mexican joke off recipe is serious tragedy, wordplay with sing songy ending. <laughs> oh, just, just stick it, just give it a 10. Uh, a study finds nearly 5% of Utah children have never been vaccinated. Authorities attribute the increase in death rates to lattes and cuss words. <laughs> Uh, a preacher who praised the Orlando massacre was arrested for child molestation charges. Turns out some same-sex intercourse really makes his club pulse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> how, how we have gone? We have gone two months since gay 9/11, and no one has put together the fucking saucy wordplay of his club. <laughs> <laughs> That's like an ant joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said, well, you know, it, it was inspired because I, I was thinking about the, the the leaked photos of Kanye's dick and how club like it is, where it's just so much fatter at the end than it is at the base, and then a pulsing. You know, I was thinking orgasms they come and pull, and I just, it just, it just hit me like uh, like e equals MC squared. Oh, like just, <laughs> like you're taking us through the process. Yeah, just of of that boner <laughs> joke yeah. inside the cunt studio. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> speaking of that uh, incident, actually, Orlando Hot. Hospitals have announced they will not be billing victims of the Pulse nightclub shooting, saying, quote, please, your money is no good here, and neither is your blood. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Carrie, oh. that is outstanding. Oh, mercy. <laughs> oh, setting the bar high. 
Uh, a Florida man survived a lightning strike, spider bite, and snake bite. Tom Goss remarked, lightning spider snakes, that guy's got to move out of space, Australia. <laughs> Space Australia, I don't get it. What is that? <laughs> yeah, he nailed the Space Australian Towns uh, game that the fans sent in. <laughs> Two men were arrested for walking around Inglewood wearing full body armor and holding assault rifles. They told the arresting officers they were merely on their way to a martial law costume party. <laughs> Newark County, County Costume Landfill. Party. Can I, I, I don't remember where Newark County Landfill was. I made a joke from. about one of the mob wives dying and being buried uh, at Newark County Landfill. Uh, yeah. Okay. New research shows that the Zika virus. <laughs> new, re- <laughs> new research shows that the Zika virus may be transmittable via sexual activity. Said a giant mosquito in a sexy lady costume. "Quote: That's a load of hooey. Now, who wants to buy me a drink?" <laughs> <laughs> I, I like anthropomorphizing, uh, anthropomorphizing Zika, and then just yeah. making it into the part of the mosquito <laughs> agenda. <laughs> yeah. The, the CDD, CDC has discovered mosquitoes are transmitting the virus versus, versus the Bugs Bunny method. <laughs> I think Literally have, Bugs Bunny. <laughs> we, have a, we have a Mexican joke off on that, Carrie. Oh, shit. Uh, a study discovered the Zika virus can survive in a woman's vaginal mucus 11 days after initial infection. CDC official Andrew Dice Clay remarked, In my whores, it'll last for 22! Get it? There's more mucus in a cunt! <laughs> Oh, God. nothing! Nothing harder than the only thing harder than following the real dice clay is following a dice clay joke in the Mexican Joe Fox. So I just want to offer up a challenge real quick. I know we have some fans with too much free time on their hands. We've used two punchlines a, a crazy amount of times on this show, which are something dice clay and Abu all something or other. Yeah. And I want somebody to find out which one we've used more. Oh yeah, because crunch they both the numbers three hundred percent of the time. Get on it, you autistic twerps. <laughs> yeah, I give the fucking uh, uh, sand fagin. <laughs> We, you remember uh, from uh, Oliver last week? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. The Bean Boys has gone two episodes without an Oliver reference. <laughs> we, we do need to have an... O- we, ha- we need to have like five OSHA calendars for all our motifs. <laughs> uh, musical parodies, ISIS. <laughs> Raw sewage has been leaking into the Baltimore Harbor for the past seven days. The Department of Public Works plans to shut down the beach so they can retrieve and dispose of all copies of Keith Carey's Forever Nap. Oh, oh the shade of it all. <laughs> Sources claim Donald Trump's campaign advisor made anti-Semitic remarks. In related news, a bear was seen shitting in the woods. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, New Yorker (laughs) Carrie. Yeah. Let's see. A German-based halal soft drink company has been accused of financing radical Islamist groups. To avoid controversy, the company is rebranding its soda as ISIS Fanta. (laughs) (laughs) Don't you wanna wanna jihad? (laughs) A year and a half into the U.S. backed Saudi Arabian bombings in Yemen, the dev- that, 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 this is the longest joke I've ever written, but I really think it's worth it. I'm going to write it out. Please. You. A year and a half into the U.S. backed Saudi Arabian bombings in Yemen, the death toll has risen so high, the Red Cross has started donating morgues to Yemeni hospitals. An organization that audits charities declared the Red Cross the person who brings paper plates to a potluck of humanitarianism. That's <laughs> 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 real good. <laughs> And finally, a truck carrying several tons of generic brand mayonnaise overturned on a Toronto oh, highway. Oh Connor McSpadden has started a GoFundMe for a new tour bus. <laughs> <laughs> Eat a bag can of dicks. I, can I? I, I wasn't, I wasn't going to do this because I swear I've been trying to less write fewer jokes about the two of you. But just since we're on the... Can I sneak one in? Oh, for sure. Yes. Okay. yes. The Unicorn Pub of oh, London. This is what this means, that you just wrote this one for yourself. No, no, no. no. <laughs> the Unicorn Pub of London had its prized fiberglass pig head. Henry returned to it after it was stolen by a patron. It was the most notorious case of pig jacking since Kayla jerked off Keith on the 605. (laughs) Pig jacking! (laughs) Pig jacking is for sure something you make a man in a polo shirt with salt and pepper hair do to you. I swear to God... I swear to God, every week I go, I'm not going to write a Keith is fat joke because I'm feeling bad about it. But then there's something. The first headline is a big biomass. Oh, a yeah. It yeah. was stolen. Just God doesn't want me to feel good. <laughs> like not. He wouldn't have shaped me like this if he wanted me to have joy. Oreos found to cause cancer of the brain. And you're like, oh, OK, well, fuck. Yeah, it. something, something. Go either way. Ham. <laughs> A ham explosion outside of Bakersfield as well. Oh, well, Jesus Christ, what am I going to do? Let this soft Paul go right past me into the catcher's mitt? Pork belly tsunami. 
Is that your drag name you're working on? (laughs) (laughs) The Mean Boys will be right back. What happened to America? Used to be a darn fine place to raise a family. A country you could really be proud of, you know? But with all these jokers and shysters in Washington, old lady America's fallen on hard luck. And in these turbulent times, we need a strong leader. A dedicated leader. A leader who's not afraid to get his hands dirty with the blood of his enemies. A leader that will defile the temples of the gods of old and fill their communion goblets with fire ants. That's why I love Karnak. You see, Karnak's not like these fat cats and flip-floppers we've gotten off of now. No, sir, Karnak's not a politician. He's an ancient god of war from another dimension who has set his bloodthirsty eyes on taking America as his own. And me? Well, I like a man who goes after what he wants. Karnak isn't concerned with petty things like universal health cares or deciding if queers can get married. Karnak is dedicated to building a wall to protect the borders of this nation from the real enemies of freedom, the zombie servants of the dreaded Spider King. Karnak keeps his word 100%. If he says he'll have your skin removed with a cat of nine tails for heresy against the blood feaster, then by golly, he'll have your skin removed with a cat of nine tails for heresy against the blood feaster. That's the real truth. Or my name isn't... I don't know. I want to say Glenn, maybe? Whatever the most American name is. Anyway, together with his vice presidential candidate Tyler Dawson, a teenage Satanist who may or may not be guilty of some pretty horrific murders, Carnock's taking control of this country one vote at a time. Surrender your putrid freedom and prostrate yourself at the feet of the blood feaster. It's what the founding fathers would have wanted. If you're interested in supporting the campaign, well heck, what am I droning on for? Let's hear it from the man himself. Wretched pig children! Karnak is your blood-soaked messiah! Your tributes of gold, spices, and whores are both appreciated and mandatory. But the campaign is still in need of more treasure. This ad space doesn't fucking buy itself! Therefore, we have designed a t-shirt most foul that you may wear upon your body before I destroy it with knife wounds. The Carnock Dawson campaign t-shirt is only available until September 19th, at which point it will disappear back into the void from whence it came. Seriously, it's a fucking dope shirt. It's 20 bucks and it'll help keep the campaign going and keep the Mean Boys podcast online so we can spread the word. Click the link in the show notes or go to the Mean Boys Twitter page to buy it. Otherwise, when me and Karnak win, I'll burn your house down and do weird stuff to your daughter's butt. Once September 19th rolls around, it'll be gone forever, so don't wait. Slavery is salvation. The blood moon shines upon all of Karnak's bastards. Buy your shirt, pledge your loyalty, and together we will make America bleed again. All right, here's your stupid podcast or whatever, you fucking dorks. (laughs) All right, everybody, the Mean Boys podcast is back, and we are going to be playing a uh, fan-submitted game of Is This Domain Name Taken? Is This Bacon? Fat guts shaken. Now it's time for Is This Domain Taken? That is our brand new jingle. Uh, Unfortunately. So, yeah, uh, yeah, very underproduced. It's lo-fi, dude. It's like an early Sonic Youth album. <laughs> I mean, I, I want to hate it, but the real reason is because is it's a mirror. You know. Yeah. It's, we're no, not, th- that's, that's this what, is what we've inspired in people. Any interaction with our fans, we're like, oh my god, these wretched people. And then we realize, like, oh, th- this is a fucking echo chamber for ourselves. There's Our, that story about, like, the Sex Pistols played a show in, like, 76, and there were only, like, eight people there, but they all started the most important bands of all time. Eight people heard this podcast, and that's what we got out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is bacon or fat cuts shaken? I mean, I, I'm assuming those are, like, vague Keith slams. I mean, they're not not. Well, yeah. here, look, here's the thing. We said that if you, someone sent us a Jingle, we will use it. Um, if someone sends us a better jingle, we will also use that. All yeah, right. I, I, believe, I believe uh Alex Yorchak is working on one, but he's all like, Oh, I don't know, it's not quite ready yet. It's like, dude, you are familiar with the show. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ryan Colby has been well, on fifteen we, times. We just upgraded <laughs> we'll and started the show in a kitchen. Like, yeah, <laughs> uh, I know. We just we just got out of a subterranean recording yeah. environment. <laughs> we have reached Earth. Yeah, uh, uh, we're, we're really excited about 32 episodes and doing it at sea level. So <laughs> Moving on up from the spider zone. <laughs> but yeah, that's... It's a grasshopper and, quadrant. Yeah, and we didn't move because we got better. We just moved because Tom moved <laughs> into our basement. We got gentrified out of a basement by Tom Goss. We're pieces of shit. 
Oh, and we and we shit on you every week, uh, and you still I don't get it. Uh, uh, some bullshit about the internet. <laughs> well, that was from Daryl Wilman, Daryl Williams, uh, from this Comics Life uh, podcast. Thanks, Daryl. Uh, so yeah, thank you for sending in the game. Uh, the game he had a lot of shit that was pretty obvious. So it's kind of half him, half me. So I, I did a little tweak, and he had some interesting stuff in there. But uh, right out of the gate, ungrateful and crazy. yeah, yeah, we are real mean, rightfully so. <laughs> well, it's, I'm just being honest. I don't want him to listen and be like, hey, I didn't uh, say the spankinglibrary.com. You know, you know that would ruin his day, which again, very depressing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Daryl, thank you, but I don't know. I, hey, here's here's why I changed it because I wanted the show to be good. All right, and without you, it wouldn't have been good. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? Does that make sense in your dumb brain? Did I just blow your small mind? Uh, <laughs> this has become a quest to just like alienate our already dwindling fan base, uh, one person at a time. <laughs> we're not alienating them; we're making them strong. Guys. This is the opposite of a kissing booth. What we're doing here? Uh, no. Look, look, look! Anyone, anyone who sticks on is, is really with us. Our, me, our, I'm, I'm sure glad that we uh, that I launched this tirade as soon as we started trying to sell things for the first time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Get your Carnac like, Dawson all, campaign all, shirts. More on that later. Yeah, like all of our fans like emerge out of a kitchen in a house dressed with a black guy. Like deep down, I know the mean boys love me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really didn't understand like uh, like spousal abuse until I started getting <laughs> tweets from Ryan Colby. <laughs> yeah, people love you and it's gross, and you want to hurt them. <laughs> anyway, I, I think we're supposed to play a game or oh, something. Yeah, no, we, although we could probably forego it at this point. <laughs> we got what we came here for. Guys, we love it when you send stuff in. People we're, write us yeah. people write uh, people write us nice emails. I screen cap them and I send them to the guys and we all get all fucking mushy and lame. Yeah. We're like, oh my God, man, I really we met the guy that we met in San Diego that lives in his parents' yeah, basements yeah. and like list loves the show and he's like, dude, Carnot the Blood Feaster, man. That's my favorite character. What up, Orion? Like, hey for, for the, real, you guys I, all make yeah. my life and it means the world to me. Uh and you're terrible. Let's play. Agreed. Uh Number one, the spankinglibrary.com. Is this don't name and name taken? Mm. The spanking library? Spanking, mm. The spankinglibrary.com. Where all books are overdue. <laughs> <laughs> um, we use the say, Doomy Decimal System. Uh, the <laughs> Doomy Decimal System? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say hard yes. The Gooey Decimal System. I'm going to also say yes. It is taken. All right. All right well, then, boys. Number two. Deadbabies.net is this domain name taken. <laughs> okay. First, this is going to sound bad, but can I have a spelling on babies? B A. I'll give you the country of origin, <laughs> Uganda. <laughs> this matters, trust me. Uh, uh, yeah. B A B I E S. No. Uh, okay. Um, I want to say that this is like a, like a. 1996 AOL remnant like the website it's just like a one it's a GeoCities yeah it's like a one page note of dead baby jokes that you would like watch with your dial up at 1am so I'm gonna say yes I'm gonna say taken. no uh, it is not taken. Damn it! Although I wish Joe's would would be true, so I could put a link. Uh, <laughs> if, if it was spelled wrong, I would have said yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, I fucking miss the Geo Cities. Like uh, the joke directory for f- uh, fucked up shit. Here's yeah. a gif of a fucking dead guy. Yeah. Um, number three is this domain name taken? Stinkbutton.com. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> What I like is how serious and analytical we've gotten about these games we've created that are just objectively about the most uh, insubstantial, yeah. stupid shit. The fucking Zapruder fort, fart porn. Oh, yeah. All right, back into... Uh, you asked for the spelling on dead babies. Up, up and to the left. Uh, yeah, but I was right. I, I know. That's the truly unsettling part is how good you've gotten. Uh, stink button dot what? Calm. Uh, no. I'm going to say yes again. After a climactic drink of water, stinkbutton.com is not taken. Ah, oh, boy. Killing the game. I would love to know how much that's worth. <laughs> Ooh. Well, wait, is it stink button or the stink button? Uh, just stinkbutton.com. Oh, wow. He, Let's uh, do a quick go, Daddy, and see what stinkbutton.com is yeah. worth. Want to make some guesses? Yeah. Uh, $800. Let me say $20,000. <laughs> Guys, $299. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you're, you're, See, you're putting way too high. A pre- you're getting emotional. All right, you that's somehow too much and not enough all at once. It really it's like when you like, talk to investment bankers, like don't trade with your gut, trade with your head. You know, <laughs> God, this is just why America is doomed. Like you don't need to watch the Big Short to realize why the economy is fucked. Like right here, like the domain worth of stinkbutton.com. <laughs> we are attaching value to human labor to the domain name stinkbutton.com. Uh, thanks, Obama. Yeah. Um, number four is this domain name taken? Who pooped.org. Mm. <laughs> it would be in. Dot someday org. I'm going to pull up a soundbite of the monster from Star Wars: Attack of the Clones too, 
And um, well, there's only one Attack of the Clones. They didn't. I know what you meant. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's a monster that sounds exactly like Keith laughing. (laughs) And I got. I'll find. I'll I'll bring it in someday. Uh, I think of it. I've thought of it five times a day ever since I met you, Keith. Wait, wait which monster? The one that laughs. That with a, <laughs> I can't. I could, that? Well, I can't. I can't do it because well, I can't. I don't well, have. I don't have the it? proper girth to. It's I'd, the one where they're in the like the Coliseum and they're like slaves and then the. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. One of them Geonosis fellas. Yeah, the Geonosis fellas. Mm. Um, well, it's also the name of the Bith band that plays in the cantina, but. Uh, who pooped.org is this domain name? Well, it makes sense that it's .org because it's educational. It's about the search for knowledge. <laughs> um, I'm going to say no. Yeah, Bill Nye got weird. Uh, mm. I'm going to say yes. Who pooped.org is taken. Oh. Joe, you're having a tough day. I'm yeah, sorry, really buddy. Am. Okay, you put those finger guns that away. Cool down the guns, yeah. we still got three more questions I left. I stand by my logic. Are, you, are you doing a perfect game? I am so far, yeah. Wow. Okay. Now I fucked it up, and I'm gonna for sure win yeah. this one. I, I I'm just trying to psych you out. I was I was I wasn't even making a procedural note. I'm just trying to get in your head, Carrie. Because number six. Oh wait, number five. Okay, fuck. Um, <laughs> number five. Groovymoms.com. Groovy moms. Again, this sounds like an AOL remnant. Yeah. Like you would like you like when you would get like hey, how to here- freeze your kids gogurt so they yeah, still love you. Exactly. Here's a stack of twelve mind link CDs. Go to groovymoms.com. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say yes. Groovy moms sounds like a bunch of like middle aged ladies who get together for Margarita Mondays who met at a mega church and their husbands are all secretly mm-hmm. gay. Um <laughs> they have a lot of opinions about groovy moms. I'm gonna say Yes. Groovymoms.com is taken. Yeah. Boom. Mm. Shit, dude, K- Carrie, you're doing it, man. You're you're, you're like uh, like three strikes away from a perfect game. So you're like, I can't mess up the rituals. I gotta like yeah. take a drink of my fucking orange soda. Right. I'm just well, I'm paraphrasing an episode of Malcolm in the Middle right now, as I often do, uh, without realizing it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, <laughs> there's one where Hal uh, uh, bowls a perfect game, and he has to like keep doing his like ritual. I remember. Uh, yep, I do. You're the Malcolm like- in the Middle episode where uh, he meets the girl at the traffic jam. Do you guys do you remember that no. one? It's one of the most heartbreaking pieces of television you'll ever see in your life, but it also has like an optimistic message about like living in the moment. Oh, you really are like all the Malcolm Middle kids smushed together. <laughs> Thank you for pulling us out of a hole, you dog. <laughs> like, there's a lot of Dewey. Oh there's God. a lot of Reese. There's some Francis. There's a little Malcolm in there. Yeah, like you're intelligent, but you're also a cunt, so you're Malcolm. I, yeah. I'm adorable, yeah. but I'm also a goon. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, Joe. Wait, a, you, you didn't hit the you fucking one fucking hammer oh, swing nail all the brutal. way in. <laughs> oh, God. Let's move on to number six. Fucksex.co. <laughs> No. <laughs> it's like a really aggressive abstinence website. I didn't think anybody had a dot .co until the, the roast battle did for a minute. And I was like, God, you fucking ghetto What's idiots. We can't... <laughs> yeah, good lord. Like, you don't have to pay more for dot .com. You just... I assume someone snagged it as a situation. But oh, anyway, okay. fucksex.co. Is it taken? No. Joe? Mm. I'm going to say yes. Fuck that... Fucksex.co is not taken. Ah, oh my god! All right, you got, the, you got your finger in the pulse of America. I know. Well, <laughs> I'm out of touch. Jesus <laughs> Christ! On the pulsing club of America. <laughs> oh, call back it's to you know, call back to the, the dark ages is what you just did. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> uh, he's switched it up for the last two questions. Uh, what Tumblr domain name is taken? A. Hide the zucchini. Mm-hmm. B. Hide the fart. C. Hide the feelings. Or D. Hide the body. Mm. Hide the zucchini. Which one's taken? This yes. Uh, God, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say hide the body. Hide the zucchini. Ah! Oh my God! Crushed it. <laughs> There's one more left. Patrick. All right, come on. All right, Daryl Williams, you got to send us a dick pic if Keith gets this last question. And here's you the bad to. news: you got a fifty-fifty it's chance. In the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> Are these domain names? All taken or all available. Oh, oh fuck. boy. Number one, buttfacts.com. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Facts or like fact butt facts machine? F A C T S or F A X? Uh, as in, as in uh, things that are true about butts. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay. That which is true about the rectum. <laughs> uh, number two, aidssingles.com. Mm-hmm. Three, wealthy, wealthy single mommy.com. Mm hmm. Or number four, who's my daddy.net. 
What's the first one again? Mm. Buttfacts.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's tens in the boardroom. <laughs> I'm going to say... I'm going to say I'll take him. I'm going to say I'll take him, too. They're all taken. Yeah. Oh! Send me your dick, dude. Sexually harassing a guy. <laughs> Have we gotten any dick pics at all? In any? We got uh, one during the, okay. the, the Ramsey debacle. The That's, Ramsey dick But it was drive. clearly a Googled from somewhere else. <laughs> it was clearly not a homegrown yeah. dick I don't, Yeah, I don't want any of that shit. I want yeah, your real dick. Even if they're insufficient dicks, like, I care well, about Well, tweet us the, your dicks and also tweet uh, the, the, the uh, Insane Clown Posse. Yeah. Too much of that. yeah. We'll, we'll, tweet we'll, dicks at them. Yeah, we, we're going to be tweeting the Insane Clown Posse every day until they book us at the mm-hmm. Gathering of Juggalos. I think we're on day five, and it's like all our most popular tweets are Juggalo-related now. <laughs> well, you know, and just tweet. There's a groundswell of support. Yeah, yeah. just tweet dick pics randomly into the ether at, to random coagulations of Twitter accounts. There's not you know, a lot just, we don't want from you. Just be a yeah. friend of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> what this an unsettling Project- phrase. <laughs> this is how Project Mayhem started. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Friends of Chaos is the episode title because I legitimately love that as a movement. Oh, Friends of Chaos should be the name of this show. We, did, dude, we're like, we yeah. are like Project Mayhem, but like none of us could like build a pipe bomb. You know, we'd yeah. be like, <laughs> well, and, and without and honestly, the illusion of social like it mattering. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Dude, we we would never even get to blowing up the financial institutions because we'd take forever making soap out of Keith. It would just be so preoccupied. <laughs> we'd have a surplus. <laughs> Uh, I don't have to listen to this. The I'm clean, a champion. They're called the cleanest right. boys in town. Hey, Daryl Williams. <laughs> the clean boys. Keith stumped you. Thanks again. Listen to this Comics Life uh, podcast. I don't know if it sucks or not, but he, he has a podcast, so let's give him a shout out. Uh, so <laughs> you go fuck with that. Uh, and the Mean Boys will be right back after. I just farted. I don't know if you oh, could hear it. That felt bad. Mean. Mean. Coming to theaters near you. Now look, Poindexter, the United States business interests simply cannot afford the presence of another communist state in the Western Hemisphere. I understand, Mr. Defense Secretary, but Congress just banned all further aid to the Nicaraguans. Reagan wants a way around all of this. Well, what are we going to do? What's that, Airbud? What did you draw on these papers, boy? Iran? Slipping under the embargo with shell companies? Wow, the Security Council will never be able to trace the money back to the U.S. Who's a good boy? If you want to overthrow an elected leftist government... There's no rule that says a dog can't channel arms sales to a Central American dictatorship. Well, there's international law. But does international law say a dog can't channel arms sales to a Central American dictatorship? Well, no. Don't send a jackal. General, the fascists are storming the building. What? How is that possible? They're being funded by Airbud. Send a golden retriever. Hola, you communist pigs. Perro del Cielo sends his regards. This summer, this is CNN. The communist government of Nicaragua, known for its human rights violations, was overthrown by freedom fighters with help from Airbud, the lovable dog who fights to spread liberty across the globe. The Airbud Contra Affair. Rated PG. Uh, the United Nations is prepared to act on a motion barring any dogs from selling arms to sovereign nations under embargo by the Security Council, thus closing the there's no rule that says a dog can't do things loophole. Mr. Secretary General, the Soviet Union would like to propose an exception to dogs playing soccer on teams to save a rec center from closing or to inspire children with difficult home lives to believe in themselves. The General Assembly finds this acceptable. Motion approved. All right, everybody, the Mean Boys podcast returns with another fan submitted game, uh, our favorite game, a thing of our. It's time to play our favorite game. Everybody, give it up for it's time. We got a game from a fan. <laughs> Let's do the Witch of the Following. <laughs> <laughs> I messed it up a little and no one would notice, and I was like, I'm just fucking owning this. <laughs> like, and Tom's like an influence is spreading. I know, we need to get him out of this house. I would, yeah, it's I like would, having black mold on your property. <laughs> you know what I would like to do instead of doing, uh, for a little aside, instead of doing the Tom lightning round, I would like to do like Tom reenacts historical speeches. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that, that, like the brown kids, uh, they, they could like do hockey with the other ones. I want to get, get Tom to explain the plot of movies he hasn't seen just by watching yeah. the trailer. Oh. Uh, There's, look, look. Hey, Captain Gorbachev, what's with the wall? (laughs) 
Captain Gorbachev. I like your crunch berries and everything, but there's a limit. Like the thing about Tom is, I just want to record him in as many capacities as possible, just for to preserve for future generations. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But, but what you mean, people who are actually going to be alive in six months? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, like I think of doing Mean Boys with Tom as like recording Kurt Cobain's phone calls. Like this is going to be in a documentary someday. I can't Montage even, of derp. I can't even imagine what like your your neighborhood's immigrant neighbors think of Tom just crawling in out of the basement. They must think he like raises chupacabras or something. I, I assume that they think he's just like a like a Caucasian raccoon. <laughs> El Kukui. <laughs> All right. Uh, this. Uh, I don't wear a mask. I'm honest about myself. Not like they is. Oh my god. Uh, this this round comes to us from at Fetus Christ on Twitter. Yep. Uh, we the, are the, the name, best fans. The name he put in the contact form was Bob Barker. Um, and we are playing which of the following is not a real anal cunt song title anal cunt being the uh, notorious grindcore outfit Mm -hmm. Um, so Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be a lot of hate speech in these song titles uh, mm-hmm. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna just say that I'm just reading what I've been sent. Yep. <laughs> and if we need to break out the Jamar button, I've got it on my phone always. It's it's ready to go. Okay. Uh, so around around what is the following is in a real anal cunt song title: A, recycling is gay. Mm-hmm. B, seahorses are cum guzzling faggots. <laughs> C, Easy E got AIDS from Freddie Mercury. <laughs> or D, you play on a softball team. <laughs> I, I already I am remiss at not listening to this band more. Iron- ironically, though, the one of those I would least like hurled at me is you play on a softball team. <laughs> hey, <laughs> is the most hey just a minute now. Uh, hey. <laughs> a joke's a joke. But <laughs> that's for girls. Well, well, well seahorses <laughs> seahorses do deliver the baby, so they're kind of not. Joe's not, not interested to going to any third base that doesn't involve fucking baby wipes afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. That's, that's not, I was. We were that's just not about to. Uh, that's just pragmatic. Yeah. Joe. Joe looked at uh, my disgusting microwave in my uh, third world field hospital of a home, and he, he said it looked like I bottomed in here. <laughs> And I, I wasn't cooking food there as it is, but now I never whim. God, you know, doing bottoming preparation, it's like getting sand out of an apartment. You think you'll get it all, but you're not going to get it all. <laughs> bottoming preparation. Oh, my God. Why are we not making a BuzzFeed parody about that right now? Bottom prep. Um, uh, all right, guys. Which I guess is what all prep some. is. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to say the seahorse one. All right, Joseph. Uh, I don't think Anal Cunt is smart enough to know about seahorses, so I'm going to say yeah, the, sea, the seahorse one. Uh, it is the seahorse Yay. one. Wow. You dare insult the intelligence of Anal You guys are su- surprisingly good at this game with no discernible patterns at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, round number two, which of the following is in a real Anal Cunt song title? A, I got an office job for the sole purpose of, having, of sexually harassing women. <laughs> B, I became a counselor so I could tell rape victims they asked for it. Oh, I can't God. wait for that sound clip to be taken out of context when the <laughs> Joy never hosting hits. the Daily Show. God, oh, jeez. God, Robin, before she trans, was pretty salty. <laughs> <laughs> what, Harry? Um, <laughs> C, I sold your dog to a Chinese restaurant. Mm-hmm. Or D, I adopted a retard so I could laugh at it. <laughs> so did we, and he's been on five episodes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh, What was C again? Chinese restaurant I sold your dog okay, to a Chinese one, restaurant That one was disappointing Like, come on, anal cunt Like, I expect a certain level of depression That's from their B-Sides album <laughs> Yeah, yeah well, well, we've all had those moments on Mean yeah, Boys Where we yeah. couldn't quite figure out how to make our ISIS joke sting Oh, yeah, you know, that's so. like, I mean the, Sold your dog to a Chinese restaurant That's like the early Beatles of anal cunt <laughs> that's, the, I, that's their I want to hold your hand I'm gonna No, say that's that. Love Me Do It's yeah. like put the harmonica away, guys Start doing some drugs mm. I'm going to say the uh, the retard one is the fake one Okay mm, I'm going to say the rape one The fake one is D I adopted a retard so I could laugh oh, at it uh, Keith, what the, do you have I'm a horse Two for two on Perfect Games Do, do, you, do, you, do, feel do you have a horse up your ass? nailing all these I sure don't <laughs> I give you go home do some soul searching Yeah, of all the fucking groups that I could really just lock in with mentally <laughs> Anal Cunt is not uh, I do I, The problem is I really hate Anal Cunt's music But god damn do I respect their song titles I, I, I kind of do too yeah. <laughs> Grindcore is stupid It really is I, I only heard it like once in my neighbor's it's car all- And I was just like why, why do you do this to yourself And yeah. I, I'm a guy who listens to like 
Death Grips and Public Image Limited and all yeah. kinds of like well, metallic, we unpleasant Corpse music. Cannibal, Cannibal Corpse is legitimately great. Yeah, it's just I like them. Solid metal. Mm-hmm. This is uh, terrible music for yeah. dumb people. All right. Uh, well, yeah. Let's thanks we'll again. Thanks again, link. fans, for sharing <laughs> sharing things you love. Hey, you didn't write it. This isn't. This is rad. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad with us. <laughs> <laughs> we, we really that, that's that's our next bonus episode when we get to the next uh, level of iTunes reviews we're gonna we're gonna do this is bad and you we're know, gonna bring Kyle and we're just gonna talk about shit we hate the, uh, you know, I think pardon, that'd be fun pardon the bad metaphor. I went on tour with Kyle I've lived that podcast <laughs> Is, it's, is it just a podcast about your guys' bowel movements in the hotel room you're sharing? Uh, it was a lot. Uh, yeah. Anyway. All right. Uh, number three, which is the following. Is that a real anal cunt song title? A, Concentration Camps Make Me Come. Mm-hmm. <laughs> B, I Snuck a Retard Into a Sperm Bank. <laughs> to what end? C, <laughs> he's knock things off the shelves. <laughs> no, he's, he, he's letting them jizz in all the jars. And if kid, people are going to oh. go home. Get a turkey based a fucking failure into their fucking womb. Wolf. <laughs> that was harsh. Um, That's a pretty rough. Words, yeah. Well, yeah, Every word trying... in there was a bummer. Uh, <laughs> hey man, I'm not. I'm not going to be a, a on television. I'm be ten thousand I mean? daddies. <laughs> Oh my god, 10,000 daddies. The Joe Dodge story. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. More daddies than a sperm bank. Oh, oh that's in your fucking uh, rap. Um, that's my musical tap dance number. <laughs> that I dance with Neil Patrick Harris at the Ace Awards. <laughs> C. His star falls and mine rises. Sorry. C. Women, colon, nature's punching bag. <laughs> D. Phyllis is an old, annoying cunt. Oh. I, first of all, I don't think anal cunt knows how to properly use a colon, so I... <laughs> Sounds like they have some creative ideas for what to do with one. Uh, <laughs> I feel like if there's an old woman named Phil, she probably is a cunt, so I can't, you know. What's A again? Just... Concentration camps make me come. I'm going to say that one. I'm going to say the retarded sperm bank one. The fake anal cunt song title is Concentration Camps Make oh, Me Come. Oh, wow. my God. Keith, did you read the email? No. Do you swear? I don't know the password. Oh, okay. Well, wow. good. <laughs> Gee, this is unsettling. Why would I cheat? I don't, I don't know, but I'm just I'm just I'm, well, you can't, can't, I, I, you can't fault me for asking here. Is there a mirror behind me and you I can know, see my I laptop? I feel like the lead singer of Anal Cunt is about to emerge in this house and look at Keith and just go, "Son, Dad." <laughs> Cats in the cradle in the retard fag. <laughs> something something 911 inside you. <laughs> Grew up to be just like me. Uh, Number four, which of the following is in the real anal cunt song title? A, in my heart, there's a star named after you. <laughs> Jeez. B, I hate when you frown because I'm in love with your smile. C, I'd love to have your daughter's hand in marriage. D, I respect your feelings as a woman and a human. Oh, they, they did like a gag. They did, they did it in Nice Boys? They yeah, I guess it sounds like anal cunt did a Nice Boys. They sure did. This is like when uh, they did Merry Christmas, where they had the uh, the seven inch flexi disc that just had like all crass songs like on a Christmas organ. Oh, man. It's like, do they owe us a living? Of course they do. Of course they do. <laughs> Say the first one again. In my heart, there's a star named after you. Go through the whole. Okay, yeah. I hate it when you frown because I'm in love with your smile. That's B. That's C. I'm gonna say B. C. I'd love to have your daughter stand in marriage. Or D. I respect your feelings as a woman and a human. D. The fake one is B. Sorry, ah, Keith. On the board. On the board. <laughs> Three ends. Number five. The final round. All real or all fake. Uh-huh. Anal con song titles. A. Your kid is deformed. B. <laughs> Felt like there was more. <laughs> Doesn't need to Just, be. Just one broke. Don't fix it. Not when you nail it. I mean, the it's kid's deformed, broke. Yeah, but yeah. Like, <laughs> not when you nail it in four words. B. You're old. Parentheses. Fuck you. <laughs> C. Your best friend is you. Or D. You robbed a sperm bank because you're a cum-guzzling fag. My mother is listening to this while undergoing chemotherapy. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off the recording. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Hi, Ma Dosh. Yeah. Oh. Because well. it's not enough having one thing pumping poison into you. 
You need it in the auditory fucking hole as well. Mean, mean boys, the chemotherapy of the spirit. You drive out of uh, darkness with more shadows. The chemotherapy of the spirit. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Can that be our tagline? I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, oh god. <laughs> It's it's no matter who wins we lose. That's uh, the fucking all, all of the all world. Makes you feel any better, Mark? We both have a tumor to get rid of. It. Ours just wrote us an email. Yeah. Like, I <laughs> 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 uh, feel better, Mama Dosh. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord! I'm gonna say all real because at least I could maybe be pleasantly surprised. Who out cares? Of this. Yeah. <laughs> all fake. They're all real. Yeah. What oh, is their, good. Uh, their fixation with sperm banks? And that is such a weirdly specific thing. It really is. Um, yeah. All right, that was a bunch of fun this week. Thank you to at Fetus Christ. And it is time for a long-awaited segment. Ooh. The rhubarb taste test, rhubarb motherfuckers. Rhubarb taste test. I'm so excited. Uh, this is sent to us by Mama Dosh. Like from here, the... I'll, go, I'll go grab it if you want to explain what's going on. Oh, you got yes. it. Yes. Way back in episode 25, uh, Joe said he did not have time to argue the merits of rhubarb with us. Yeah. And uh, he would let it uh, speak for itself. So he has imported some from his uh, shitty home state of you North see, Dakota. This comes from South Dakota. Thank oh, okay, you. Sorry. Like, North Dakota is like the goddamn Wild West. It's just their fracking fields. Anyway, this is a rhubarb coogan from the Eureka Coogan factory in Eureka, South Dakota, which is the finest coogan in a state where coogan is the state dessert, Connor. And it's flavored with coogan. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> so, so first of all... I'm going to hurt you. So first of all, I want to explain a couple things just to the audience who's not here. Number one, this looks like... It looks like a cheesecake that's also a quiche. Yeah, it looks like a, like yeah. a, tira, like a t- tiramisu with depression. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is what it looks like. Uh, number two, apparently we're supposed to eat this warm, but we're eating it cold because Connor's microwave is a war crime. It uh, really is. It looked like the fucking the, the scene in True Detective where he finds the baby, the meth head. It, cook. It's actually where they staged the Abu Ghraib and photos. I just, before we bite it, I just want to point out that Connor is, a, as mentioned before, a notoriously picky eater. And he looked at this rhubarb kugan the way like Clint Eastwood looks at Oriental's. Like, he yeah. really just is not trusting it. Hey, here's the thing. I, I've made my bed. I gave Joe shit. I got a lie in it. So yeah, we're going to do one? this on three. One, two, three. It's like if strawberry or like if celery was a fruit. I'm not getting that at all, but it's very good. Thank you. Mm. See? It's like, it's good considering it predates fun. <laughs> yeah. it's like, I'll be right back. It's, just like, it's like Krispy Kreme if you're on the Oregon Trail. Yeah, it's just like somebody put a cinnamon on a pizza crust. Yeah, like, see what I tell you guys. I fuck with this. Yeah, giving me the business about rhubarb, and I got bring some all the way from back home. And I was we found, if we found out there was like poop in this, like yeah. in the help, and this whole thing was just a long, <laughs> months long con. Were you faked having to get it imported? You know, it didn't even occur to me to do that. And goddamn it, I wish I would have done that. <laughs> you pooped in my Coogan, yeah. you. <laughs> no one likes it when you're duking in a Coogan. <laughs> well, uh, I didn't hate it. Yeah, it's I'm not going to finish it, but I didn't hate it. Well, it's, it's, it, it, it's good. It's actually really good. Pre- it was pretty good. In Eureka, they have the rhubarb It would be good festival. warm. If it was yeah. warm, I'd, I'd probably finish it. But Well, I can't heat anything up in that fucking abomination you... Oh my god! Whose microwave is that? I need it's, to know. It the pre- devil's now. It, it's yeah. it's from before I moved in, so oh. it predates the uh, the Connor administration. But uh, wow, we did it! The rhubarb uh, seven yeah. episodes ago, we you finally know, made it happen. The rhubarb king of South Dakota actually lives in Brookings, South Dakota, and he emerges every year for the Eureka Rhubarb Festival. And, and if he sees a shadow, you guys have to live in the fucking present. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck does this work? <laughs> oh, well, rhubarb's a hit. What I tell you? Well, you, 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 I don't like you pageant momming your rhubarb. You're like, I just, look, everyone loved you, her tap dancing. Your number. weird eating habits. The fact that you pe- found it palatable at all, uh, I think it says as a hit. Keith, would you not agree? I think rhubarb got. I mean, you're the, you're, you're the opposite side hey, of that pole. I, <laughs> look, rhubarb is it's fine. Uh, look, I never had a problem with rhubarb. I just thought it was funny that you had such a affinity for it, mm-hmm. which I. I uh, Oh, God. Well, why, why am I getting so upset about this? Well, I think I think we learned something. Because honestly, today. we don't have a segment unless you do. Yeah, one <laughs> very true. Well, that's uh, that's the show for this week. We have some important announcements. Yes, um, Carnot non rhubarb related. I'd f- <laughs> Although the, I mean, the Mean Boys, can believe are, it. if we could like do instead of our own Ben and Jerry's flavor, if we could have a signature Mean Boys Coogan. <laughs> 
<laughs> just for no one to enjoy ever. Yeah. I think that would be a fantastic. You know, we're always throwing barbs around, fellas. But yeah, I, I know. This is what there's two evolve. types of. Bar- well, we are definitely some rubes, <laughs> so these are rube barbs. There, there's two types of barbs in the Mean Boys podcast: rue and saucy. <laughs> 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 we were all walking hand in hand towards the end of this episode, and then we left you to die in the street like a dog. You just you just watched me quit in real time. You just I'm resigning. Oh no! Uh, anyway, news: Carnock uh, campaign shirts on mm. sale now until I believe September 19th. That's correct. Uh, there will be a link in the show notes. All the proceeds from them will go into the Mean Boys War Chest. This includes things like hosting fees, advertising, and budgets for our. Uh, our slew of upcoming video sketch projects. Uh, so if you guys, uh, people are really kind. They're like, hey, let us, uh, give us a way to give you money. So we did. So please yeah. uh, do that. Um, yeah, they, they, I think they look pretty sharp. We're pretty excited about them. I like, that it's, yeah. I like that it's called the war chest. And, yeah, what, is, what else is it? It's for like, Mean Boys go, expenses. Go, legal go, fees, <laughs> which are, is coming soon, I'm yeah. sure. It'll go directly into the Mean Boys illegal arms sales Cayman Islands account. <laughs> <laughs> the pre prayed debit yeah. card that I bought. <laughs> Liberians, Schmiberians. <laughs> Uh, also, the, the Mean Boys YouTube channel has been updated. There will be a link to that in the show, show notes as well. We've got every single game of Witch of the Falling and every single sketch uh, mm-hmm. all the way back. So what we're asking is if you like the show, just share your favorite sketch. You know, let to spread the word a little bit. We, uh, we're trying to, to grow the following uh, mm-hmm. and be like the Bernie Sanders of ignorance. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, uh, yeah, just check that out. Go Just, uh, just uh, once every couple of months, take your favorite sketch and to fucking tell somebody. Tell somebody, yeah. you know. Yeah. Fucking send it around. It's not a pyramid scheme if it's art. <laughs> We're just trying to spread joy, yeah. everyone. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm try, trying to spread joy like the wild fields of rhubarb that grow across. <laughs> I, d- I don't like the spreading th- around. You, your face when you pleasure. talk about rhubarb is like a, is like a like a middle school girl thinking about her crush. <laughs> <laughs> you just get all gooey and you're just like, oh, really? Like Mrs. Rhubarb Dosh over and over again in your notebook. J D Hart rhubarb, whatever letter Coogan starts with. I don't know. This is really good. It's K. Told oh, you. Keith is putting away this Coogan. Dude, how can you not? <laughs> I'm going to kill both of you. <laughs> um, oh, also, uh, the new uh, we're going to have to do a question of the week. He has another piece. We're going to have to call him the Coogan Caboose. <laughs> I, I, I'm fucking so mad at you. <laughs> I can't, I can't. He put it down. He stopped enjoying it. He stopped enjoying a thing. You literally I made it. <laughs> That Coogan turned into ash in his mouth because of your joy, Joe. You made me love a thing and then hate it in 45 <laughs> seconds. You took me through the entire cycle of a loving relationship with that goddamn Coogan. Can you please say Karnak well, in a Karnak voice, I'll make your Coogan turn to ash? <laughs> I will render your Coogans to ash! <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck it. Why Your rhubarb I... crops will be salted from the earth. <laughs> I'll just bring out the flavor more, Karnak. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> then we're then we're gonna light the crops on fire and yes, and jerk off into the flames. That seems like some stuff we do. <laughs> Have you ever seen the steam that erupts from cum as it goes onto flaming rhubarb crops, Karnak? <laughs> Several times, yes. Victory lap. I think Tyler's just trying to breed more rhubarb because he loves it so much. <laughs> we have been doing this for like easily ten minutes. <laughs> Can we end this goddamn episode? I don't. I, hey, I don't know. Re- review it on iTunes or whatever. It's probably ending right now. <laughs> this is our let it be, guys. <laughs> let it barb. Let it barb. The long and winding barb. <laughs> Oh, send it to your rhubarb loving friends, you know. <laughs> I fucking hate this. Plug it. Plug it. I haven't seen Carter this match since just, Nice Boys. Just, just plug it at farmers I markets. T- Be like, hey, if you like artisanal carrots and fucking. Oh, please leafy continue greens. tweeting uh, Keith, about rhubarb Keith the joke. I like churros, but they're high in cholesterol. <laughs> and also, join us in the campaign oh. to tweet at the Insane Clown Posse yes. every day till they book us at the gathering of the Juggalos. Um, uh, and we just we we're, we're not doing it for any kind of financial gain. We just want to release Tom into 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 his own habitat, like like to, like reintroducing an orca to the wild after they, we liberate it, like with Greenpeace. Shaggy rhubarb dope. <laughs> 
hey, listen, I don't know where the fuck Eureka is, but Mark Malloy's Rhubarb Emporium is opening up next week. Uh, oh, the, no. the secret ingredient is it's a pizza. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, 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 hang on. Hey, 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 Marsha Dosh, you're not alone, all right? <laughs> 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 Marsha, I think I speak for the entirety of the show when I say it should have happened to Joe. <laughs> we can cut that up. Yeah. This, 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 this Coogan has ruined our lives. <laughs> you literally just ruined this show. Burned you just it. fucking and viv this burned, podcast. Yeah, Witch of the Fog isn't supposed to have a 19 minute outro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you can see Joe uh, upcoming uh, yeah. tour dates at Not Being My Friend Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> at rhubarb.coogan. Yeah. Oh. Is that domain oh. taken? All right, oh. guys, uh, I think that's the show for this week. Do we want to, on three? Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, do we, have, do we have anything else to play? Oh, yeah, we're going to say uh, uh, each week uh, we're going to do like a topic for questions. So, yeah. so uh, email your questions on themeanboyspodcast.com. Email us your sex questions for next week's show. That oh, is our theme for this week. Thing. Let's hear some sex questions. Yes. Do we have shows to plug anybody? Mm-hmm. Uh, there's my plugs. All right, well, I'll plug mine. Oh, that's pretty edgy. Uh, Wednesday, have a headshot with your fucking mic pointing at you like a gun. <laughs> Wednesday the 31st, I'm doing uh, token jokes. So I will be stoned telling jokes at the Belly Room at the Comedy Store. Uh, Thursday, September 1st, I'll be in Temecula at uh, Third Street Live doing their knockoff version of Roast Battle. And then September 9th and 10th, I will be featuring at the Madhouse Comedy Club uh, in San Diego. So come check those out. I will be at the Madhouse uh, Friday and Saturday, the uh, s- uh, September 2nd and 3rd. And then... Uh, the week after that, I will be at uh, Flappers Claremont, the finest comedy club in the upstairs of a craft mall in North America. And for the rest of the month of San Francisco, I will be competing in the San Francisco Comedy Competition. So check out the website, and um, nice. I'll be performing all over the goddamn place. <laughs> Flappers Claremont literally is above a yarn store. Um, this all yeah, has- it's your homeland. All right, go there. <laughs> fucking share your Coogan with yeah, them. Okay? I fucking love it. Uh, yeah, this whole week I'm going to be in Vegas for the World Series of Comedy. Uh, then the week after, I'm going to be featuring at the Tahoe Improv uh, for like six shows or something. So, Nevada people, come check that out. Cool. Okay. Um... Fuck everything. God is dead. Rhubarb lives. Eat shit and die.